We're sorry you're experiencing trouble with your in-ground containment system. This system test will allow you to figure out if your issue lies with the system's transmitter, receiver collar, or boundary wire. Please make a note of your boundary control switch setting, boundary width control knob setting, and receiver collar setting before beginning the system test. You will also need a piece of boundary wire greater than 15 feet long with 3 eighths of an inch of insulation removed from each end to use as a test loop wire. Avoid stripping more than 3 eighths of an inch of insulation to prevent the wires from shorting each other out at the transmitter connection. A wire at least 15 feet will make the loop large enough for easier testing. Before you begin, remove the receiver collar from your dog and make sure a good battery is installed in the receiver collar. Set the boundary control switch to B and the receiver collar static correction level to 5. Next, disconnect the twisted boundary wire from the terminals on the fence transmitter by pressing the release levers on the connector and pulling the wires free. Insert the two ends of the test loop wire into the boundary wire terminals on the transmitter. Spread the wire to create separation between the wires. Note the original position of the boundary width control knob and turn the boundary width control knob to 10 and then back to 5. Place the test light tool contacts on the contact points of the receiver collar. While holding the collar with the test light tool in place, approach the wire from outside the loop. Make a mental note of the distance between you and the wire when the receiver collar activates. Get close to the floor when approaching the wire. This will help you better judge the distance. You can also mark the spot with a pencil where the receiver activates. Turn the boundary width control knob to 10 and repeat the previous step. The distance where the receiver collar activates should be greater than before. If more than one receiver collar is used with the system, repeat the test for each collar. The test should have produced one of three results. If the power light or the loop light indicator light are not both lit on the fence transmitter or the alarm is on, there is a problem with the transmitter and you should contact the customer care center. If both the power and loop indicator lights are on, but the receiver collar does not activate on the test loop wire, the receiver collar is not working and you should contact the customer care center. Both the power and loop indicator lights are on and the receiver collar is activating at different distances on the test loop wire, the problem is in the containment boundary wire. You should perform the wire break location test. We recommend the PetSafe wire break locator model number RFA450 to locate breaks in the boundary wire. When you are finished testing, return the boundary control switch and the boundary width control setting to the original position. Reconnect the twisted boundary wire from the boundary wire terminals on the fence transmitter by pressing the release levers on the connector and inserting the wires. Repeat the boundary width testing until you achieve the desired boundary width between 12 and 20 feet. If you have any further questions about your PetSafe containment system or any other PetSafe product, please give us a call at 1-800-732-2677.